She's pissed. Oh, oh gosh. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Rear and the Magnificent facing her own clone. But luckily she has Fern at her disposal and they are both facing this extremely powerful opponent or rather a clone of Freeran herself. And now the question is, can Freeran win against herself? We just see that Fern has casted a Zoltrak spell against Freeran. By the looks of it, she has put all of her mana into this attack. So if this attack hasn't hit Freeran and has destroyed her, our real Freeran really struggled against her own clone. Fingers crossed she was successful, but if she was successful, you, it just would feel a bit too easy, right? Because we have the rest of the dungeon party facing other clones of themselves. So I think the final revelation will be in this very episode. Who else cannot wait? Let's tune in. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks. It hasn't worked. It hasn't worked, right? That is a big trouble. Just what is this spell? Gosh. A golem. Okay, so Fern hasn't actually used her final spell yet. She hasn't used Zoltrak, so I apologize for this mistake. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. How did she do that? She's really smart. She's really smart. Great. But how will they go against Sans? Kazude Taishoshi. So she did have that spell. Is he going to face himself? That's bad because she could interrupt any time. But that is so, so, so unfair. What's wrong with her? I don't like her. Okay, that's good. That sense of power. Could really kill her. Them. And rather quickly at that. But she won't do it, right? Because her girlfriend. Gosh. Best to leave it then. Yes, that's 
He wouldn't dare. He's just trying to buy some time. But will he try to pair with them? これ、ビアベルよりも遥かに。Yes, Wow, her power, her magic is just one of a kind. But it's not visible. Exactly. She doesn't really know that it's there. Right, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for you. Wow。その第二次試験の試験官を担当したのは Wow. Don't tell me she's the mage that killed and got disqualified. Oh my god. あっさりと殺してしまった。マグニフィセント。It does actually. I used to watch my mom doing that. It is a nice sound, to be honest with you. She's right, though. And yet she did. Sounds like a genius. It's kind of how you reach your dreams and accomplish your extremely difficult goals. It is. It's what many people of success have, this ability. It exists in our world. Wow. So she could defeat Freeran as well. Amazing. <laughs> I can't disagree, right? <laughs> well, she did cut it for her. <laughs> フリーレンがシュピーゲルを倒すまでの時間稼ぎを知りたいなら俺たちも3体に語る。ナイス。
生体の足止め手伝ってやるよ俺は他人を信じるような立ちじゃねえがケツを振っているカチーマを逃すほどバカじゃない I like this guy. I really do. 確実に足止めしなければならない危険な複製体は2体。そのうちの1体。デンケンさんの複製体の場所は特に。Mr. デンケン is even more powerful than Fern then. そちらをお願いもう1体のフェレンさんの複製体に関しては、私に任せてください。あの子は特に魔力を消すのが上手みたいですから。1人の方が魔力探知に集中できます。あの子、結構強いわよ。私は多彩なので、足止めだけは得意なのです。それに、高速魔法が通じることは、本人の体を使って確かめます。ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハOh. Wara is a beautiful color of red and purple. Amazing. I haven't seen something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult and so beautiful. Not yet, though. It's like a magical machine gun. But Freeran can fight without the one, then she's pissed. Oh, oh gosh, her stuff is shattered. Can Fern fight without the staff? It's like atomic bomb. <sighs> she won. So glad she survived, though. Mountain of treasures. Wow. <sighs> so glad. Now there is no way anyone else would die in this horrible test. <laughs> A lot of them really won. Second, so there was a third one, right? <laughs> Can't believe she there was actually a mimic inside uh, this area, chamber of treasures. 
Congratulations. Now this episode was truly amazing. The fact that their strategy worked, well, I knew this is going to be the case. I don't think Fern knew that Freeman could use such a lethal spell. And it's a shame that Fern's staff has shattered. I wonder how she's going to acquire a new one. I'm sure there is a way, but she's been using this one for so long. Or perhaps she'll be able to acquire even a stronger one. I wonder if the stronger the staff, the stronger she can cast spells and magics. I wonder if it has to be uh, a wood from a special tree tree because that would mean go on another adventure or perhaps visiting um, a nice store with ones just like in the Harry Potter world where you just reach your hand and the staff or a wand comes to you as it chooses you as its own raid master. I'm curious about that. Well done to Freeran for defeating her own replica. We knew this is going to happen but she she really knows herself and she just figured out so well. Although she had to sacrifice mm, a bit of her arm but she didn't end up with cut arms like her replica but everyone else were really really good and Ubel my gosh she's she's a real threat to the world like her magic is just one of a kind she can learn magics of other people just by emphasizing and understanding them and on top of that she can imagine impossible that's a real magic power of imagination she can accomplish just anything she just go by fighting logic so she's just using it to win others in a bit of a cruel way because the way she sliced and held that other guy, harsh, deadly. And I think we've got about two episodes left. So I'm guessing this was, there was only two tests. I thought there was a third one, but I don't think that's the case because we've only got two episodes left, I think, which means that we have Free Ren and her party on the way to Aurola Land of the Dead. Bit of a shame that a shame that we won't see what happened to Sane. I was actually looking forward to the backstory of him and his friend, but perhaps that's something that we will learn about in the season two. Or perhaps Freon will never reach the land of the dead in this season. We'll have to wait however many years to come. A massive thank you to anyone supporting my channel, particularly my patrons and Isaac. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon where you can find uncut, full length and 100% opacity videos, early release. On top of that, I react to Patreon exclusive anime titles and as my Daimyo Patreon you can even get a shout out in the video. Alternatively you can join this channel as my YouTube channel member, gain access to other exclusive perks and all of this you can find in links below. Your support means the world to me and all of the donations go towards the equipment subscription and building my YouTube studio which is something I'm planning for the future. It's been a joy to watch this anime with you so I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!